Okay, let's talk about the reed bank. Yung barko natin na naka-anchor dun sa reed bank na tinamaan ng Chinese vessel, tapos iniwanan. I understand that the Chinese vessel, after hitting it, went back about 50 meters and shone a light pa on it. Nakita na, you know, nagkakanda. They were what, swimming na. Yeah, tapos umalis. And that is so against, and yet, we have not asked the Chinese to compensate those fishermen. We have not complained. How would you judge that? This is the same tactic that they use against the Vietnamese in the Paracels. Para yung mga Vietnamese hindi pumasok sa Paracel, hindi mangisda sa Paracels, rinaram nila yan. My worry is, this could be the start. Tatakutin tayo. Kasi pag... Pag eh, takot na tayo eh. Bakit pa tayo tatakutin ulit? Well, para hindi na tayo bumalik doon. Base sa report na isinumite ng Philippine Coast Guard o PCG at Maritime Industry Authority o Marina, malaki ang naging pagkukulang ng Chinese vessel. Biguraw ang Chinese vessel na isagawa ang mga hakba para naiwasan sana ang pagbangga nito sa bangka ng mga Pilipino. Mali rin daw na inabandona nito ang mga mangingisdang dula ng fishing boat Jemver. Pero ayon sa report, may pagkukulang din umano ang mga mangingisdang Pilipinong sakay ng nabanggang bangka. Wala raw silang lookout ng mangyari ang insidente. Hindi rin daw lisensyado ang chief engine officer nila. Sobra rin daw ang sakay ng bangka kumpara sa carrying capacity nito. Expired din ang Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources o BFAR license nila. Hiniling ng PCG at Marina na magsagawa ang China Maritime Safety Administration ng sarili nilang investigasyon kaugnay ng nangyaring insidente. We're waiting for the findings of China, their own investigation, and we can compare. And then we can issue a joint statement on matters of ano bang talagang nangyari doon, kanina pati whose fault talaga. What could have been done that would be an effective deterrent for further abuse like that? We cannot file a case against China because they admitted it was their boat and uh, that boat should not have been uh, in the EEZ of the Philippines. It's a fishing boat. So... Ah, that's right! And they said that they was doing uh, uh, fishing. So it was a fishing boat and uh, we can file a case to recover damages. File a case where? On close tribunal. If the administration continues in this way, what future do you see for the Philippines and the Filipino people? What I can see is that we will lose the West Philippine Sea. China will say our boundary is a nine dash line. That means we lose 80% of our exclusive economic zone an area as large as our total land area. In other words, China got everything it wanted. Ang problema kasi, hindi, yun ang sinasabi ni Presidente, nakakalimutan yung they are in possession, hindi lang sila claimant, they are in possession. When the President called you stupid because of your views on the West Philippine Sea, how would you defend yourself to the Filipino people? Well, uh, somebody said that uh, the last time the president somebody called stupid, it was God. So I'm in good company. Justice Carpio, thank you so much for being with us today. We have not done anything to fortify or to enforce the ruling. The West Philippine Sea is ours. There is no ifs and buts. It is ours.